Hey everybody, it's Chris here with 3DO Gaming. And today I'm here with my Pocket Go handheld. This is one of the smaller retro handhelds I've covered, but for 16-bit, 8-bit systems and the like, it runs them really well. And the compact factor on it, it makes it easy to carry along. It's a great second system in my opinion, or um, if you're just getting into retro handhelds, it's a good starting system. Can't really do much to break it. It is built fairly well but it is inexpensive, runs about $30, $35. I'll put links in the description if you want to take a look at it. But I've been playing a lot of TurboGrafx-16 games lately, and I just wanted to go ahead and continue this. We're going to be playing through every TurboGrafx-16 game, either on my Twitter channel, at 3DO Gaming, or right here on this YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and go into PC Engine, which is the Japanese version of TurboGrafx-16. So I have my games loaded up here, and we're going to go ahead and find one to play. We'll go ahead and try out Pac-Land. Trip 1. Come too early. Oh, yes. Got him. Round two, here we go. So this one you press B to go, A switches you into reverse, and then up to jump. Oops, missed that one. Break time. So this is a basic side-scrolling platformer. Different take on Pac-Man. And I fell down. Oh! <laughs> did it again guys well i'm gonna go ahead and stop right here this is pack land for the pause it right there for the triple graphic 16 and basic platformer on there um it has been re-released i believe on a couple other systems and some of the compilations but i'll put some links below if you want to take a look at this game a little bit more um uh, said basic size scrolling platformer they're not a great game i would say but not terrible either, and if you're a fan of Pac-Man, this is a nice little twist on the Pac-Man series. But that'll be all for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye.